A 41-year-old man in Colombia with HIV infection presented with fatigue, fever, cough, and weight loss. He had been non-adherent to therapy with a recent CD4 count of 28 cells per cubic millimeter and a viral load of 70,000 copies per milliliter. Stool examination revealed Hymenolepis nana, or dwarf tapeworm, eggs. The patient received three doses of albendazole, and antiretroviral medications were reinstated. CT imaging showed lung, liver, and adrenal nodules of up to 4.4 centimeters, as well as cervical, mediastinal, and abdominal lymphadenopathy. Both lymph node excisional and lung core needle biopsies showed nests of undifferentiated cells. The cells were characteristic of cancer, but they appeared to be of non-human origin. PCR targeting eukaryotes identified Hymenolepis nana DNA. Although they were unrecognizable as tapeworm tissue, tapeworm immunohistochemistry and probe hybridization labeled the cells in situ. Comparative deep sequencing identified H-nana structural genomic variants that were compatible with mutations described in cancer. The proliferative cells had overt features of malignancy. They invaded adjacent tissue, had a crowded, disordered growth pattern, and were monomorphic with a primordial stem cell-like morphology. The patient developed renal failure but declined hemodialysis, and he was placed on palliative care. In this case, the authors hypothesized that continued proliferation of tapeworms in the immunosuppressed host allowed somatic mutations to accumulate, ultimately leading to malignant transformation. Because HIV and H-nana infection are widespread, malignant transformation of H-nana may go unrecognized and may be misdiagnosed as human cancer. Preliminary data suggests that albendazole may be ineffective in treating clonal proliferations of tapeworm cells. Invasive H. nanocellular proliferations may present a new therapeutic challenge. Full details are available at NEJM.org.